Hi guys, so today we're having a look at a slightly unusual product. This is from Primark and it is the Prep and Perfect Matte Wipes. So these claim to be skin priming and cleansing wipes enriched with purifying charcoal to help cleanse and prime the skin. And you get 25 wipes in a packet and a twin pack is one pound. So really, really affordable, really, really weird. Um, I mean, cleansing you think of as taking things off the skin, priming you think of as putting a primer onto the skin. I'm not really sure how you can do two in one go. Um, there's no instructions, um, nothing saying like, oh, there's a textured side and that's the cleansing side and then there's a normal side and it's the priming side. That I would at least understand, you know, the texture's taking off and the flat side will let you put it on. But they're not like that because I've obviously already used them to do my application section. Which is coming up now. So we are going to do this side of my face with the wipe, this side of my face with no priming, see if there is any kind of a difference and then I'll come back at the end of the day, see how it's held up and kind of summarise how I feel because I have a few initial thoughts about these but I want to see how they perform first. So here's the application section. Right, so let's get this started. I've been, as you might not be able to see, a little bit messy with my eyeshadow because I want you to see if these are going to clear up fallout or not. This is the side of the face that we're testing with the wipes. So let's see. Okay, so they're very thin, slightly textured looking. So let me see, where's my mirror going? Okay, so it does take away fallout, that's one thing. So just sticking to this side of my face with the wipes so that we can see if there's any difference whatsoever between just going onto the plain skin. It's like, I'll accept the existence of cleansing wipes, but I'm not quite on board with the whole priming wipe thing. But we're going to see, and yeah, so that's that done. Um, part of me wants to touch and see if they feel different, but I'll give that a wee minute to kind of dry off first. Um, I mean I know how my... It does feel a little bit smoother but again that might just be because it's still a little bit damp. Um, so foundation wise I'm using the Primark My Perfect Colour um, and this is supposedly going to help mattify my skin because there's charcoal in the wipes um, which you know... Okay as much as I was sceptical this does feel really quite smooth. Strange. Okay, so as ever, using my Nanshi Flawless Foundation Brush, let's quickly tap this on. Doo, doo, doo. Right, and then quickly to the other side and we'll see if there's any difference whatsoever. Right, okay, so application wise, I don't really feel like there's been a huge difference. Um, easy to blend on both sides. I do love this foundation. This side looks a little bit better, but I don't know if it's just because my skin's a little bit clearer on that side anyway. Um, I mean, zooming in, it's obviously not like a pore filling type primer. Um, I don't think that would ever work in a kind of wipe form. Um, so you can still definitely see pores and things on my skin. It's maybe a tiny bit better on this side, but, you know, not completely invisible. So I'm going to go finish my concealer, powder, all that jazz, and I'll come back and show you the finished face. And then we'll see if this does stay matte for longer. Um, and, you know, whether this primer has any actual benefits. Right, quick timestamp. It is 20 to 1. I know I'm really late today. I slept in. I'm doing this on my lunch break, but I am going out with a friend later, so I should be up relatively late. 
to get a good wear test out of this. So I'll be back in a bit and we'll see. Right, I'm back. So it is pretty much 11 o'clock. So I've had this on for around 10 and a half hours, give or take a few minutes, depending whether you're counting it from the foundation going on or finishing up. So let's zoom in. So shine wise, I wouldn't say we're particularly different either side. Um, my skin maybe looks a tiny bit smoother on this side, but not hugely so. Um, there's some kind of settling and caking going on um, on both sides. If anything, looking at my nose, it looks a bit worse on this prime side. Um, there's definitely been quite a bit of wear around my nose, but to be honest, I don't know. I don't think I've hit it off of anything, but I might have. Um, looking a bit kind of creasy, creppy under the eyes. I would say that's pretty even on both sides. Forehead just looks equally bad on both sides. So I haven't touched up at all um, today just to keep this you know, as fair as possible uh, so that you're getting the full undiluted um, results. So these are quite firmly going into the goodbye category. Um, I always had my doubts about these for various reasons so I kind of hope this doesn't take off as a product trend that other people do um, because I, I generally find it quite confusing. So. Like I said with the whole cleanse and prime, like one's about taking stuff off your skin, one's usually about putting stuff into your skin. Can you really do the two at the same time? Um, and also, why would you want to? So, when it comes down to it, and I now can't find my... there it is. So, you know, tube of normal primer, thing of wipes. You're, they're not space saving. They are kind of time saving in that you're doing two in one. And there are some people out there that stand by, you know, you do serious cleanse at night and then in the morning all it is is a little bit of like sweat and you can just rinse it off and it's fine. From that perspective, yeah, maybe the whole cleanse and prime in one go thing would work. But why? Just why? Um, things like this, like multi-purpose and, you know, in white form rather than traditional form, I think of as being for travel. But this is so much bulkier than this. Um, I had thought it would be, you know, potentially useful if you're a professional makeup artist and you're needing to like change looks throughout the day, you know, doing the makeup removal and priming for the next look in one go might be handy, but it's not been a great primer. Um, I had thought, you know, maybe it'll be good for the whole if you do your eye makeup first. And if you end up with fallout, you can clear up while priming your skin in one go. But at the same time, I always have eye cream on. And if I've wiped, I feel like I've removed that and I need to put it back on. But you'd want that under your primer or not even really in the same place as your primer because you don't always want to bring it that far up, especially if it's a silicon based primer. I don't think you really want that near the delicate skin around your eye. Um, I mean, this is, ingredient-wise, I don't even really know. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to have any silicones in it, but um, I'm not completely in there with my ingredient science language. Um, it seems to be water and glycerin based. Those are the two first ingredients. Um, I don't see anything with silica mentioned at all. Um, do -do 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 Yeah, I don't see anything that I recognise as silicon. So there is that. It's at least not going to be like totally blocking up your pores if you were just to use it as a cleansing wipe. Um, I guess I might as well see if there is any use for these whatsoever before, you know, deciding what I'm doing with them. So I'll see if they at least take my makeup off so I can get some use out of them now that they're here. But the fact is they're, they're not the dampest wipes I've ever felt um, and I don't think they're going to be that cleansing so um, let's have a look because why wouldn't you test something for what it's not quite designed for 
So I feel like I'm rubbing quite hard at my eyes, which isn't ideal. Let's try and be more gentle. Because otherwise I've got 48 now wipes with no use for them whatsoever. So I mean, it's taking it off, it's just making a bit of an, a meal out of it. It's a bit more effort than some of my other removers and things. So, if you see these in the shop, I am definitely going to say, skip them, give it a mess. They're not, you know, they're not great. Um, so, yeah. Got all that smudged mascara. So, if you've got any questions, Leave them down below and I will get back to you and I will see you guys later. I am away to wash my face really quite thoroughly because that does not feel like it's done much at all. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.